Go, Action man. now, it's going to be Yamini versus Boki. This is going to be a loud one, I uh, anticipate. For those wondering, Boki is an Austrian native. Here he is now, going to be the hometown hero. And it's understandable that this crowd is going to go nuts for him. But he has a very unorthodox style of Kung Lao. And this ain't no hat trick player here. This is Lotus Fist. This is the orbiting hat. You're going to see a lot of crazy tech, a lot of crazy buttons. But Yamini, we have to give props to Yamini too. This guy put his name on the map at Viennale a couple of years ago, upsetting players like Slayer, Madsen, with that premium green arrow. But now he plays Johnny Cage. And I, I feel like um, a player we don't get to see too often as well, you know. I, I know we used to see Boki at quite a lot of European events back in the day. And uh, yeah, button check, of course. I know that they were, they were talking on the way in, so I, I expected that's what we'd see. I think while we load into this and get the button check done, though, we need to talk about what Lotus Fist actually brings to the table. But, but before we do that, though, I want to give a, a quick summary as to the way that Boki plays. And I, I swear, I swear to you, this is his own words. Uh, they were talking about the uh, the straight the, the straight Kung Lao hat toss that is minus seven. Talking about the straight hat toss that is minus seven on block. Boki went, no, plus seven. Ah, <laughs> hey! you're only as minus as you believe you are. In Anything is plus if you believe in the eyes of Boki. But honestly. There is a big unfamiliarity factor that comes with Lotus Fist. Like, a lot of people don't realize that when you cancel things to become minus seven, you, know, you spend two bars, one bar of offense, one bar of defense for the, uh, the hat to become minus seven. But what it does do is it makes a bunch of more famous strings safe. There's a reason Foxy in Hat Tricks doesn't use a lot of those extended strings because they are death on block and death on win. But Lotus Fist Lotus gives Fist you the option to use those. But here we go, we're starting things off. The forward one, two, already enforced here. A button that, I mean, it, it's the different variations. Here we go, Ooh, the punch. Oh, okay. Now that's important, Yamini. Going for that that little you know down one, the crouching punch into the nut punch. Not a legit thing, right? In terms of like on hit, it's not gonna combo, but on block, you're looking for them to move after the, the down one and you want the nut punch to catch them. Yamini, he was saving that for the last minute all of yesterday. But in this, in today, immediately out of the gate. Really sending a message, I think, of what he's willing to do in this match. But you know that Boki, he's gonna be way more eager to cash out on an escape failed throw um, a lot earlier because he doesn't enforce the same mix-up, right? He really relishes the orbiting hat, the strength hat, the extra strings that you really kind of get access to thanks to the safety those special moves bring. Well, it's there, but it's not what he bases his game around, right? Yes. So he doesn't have to be quite as protective of the crushing blows. Okay, Confirm. there's... Oh no! Goes into the uh, orbiting hat instead of the spin, but it's going to matter as that's going to be, yeah, chip territory. Yamini, no defensive bar to work with whatsoever. And that forward four doing uh, quite a lot of chip damage, two kicks. Unfortunately, Yamini's starting this round with no resources. He's only just built an offensive bar. He's gonna get loops now, remember. Reverse throw, Kung Lao can dash in and then force something afterwards. But there it is, Ooh, okay. poke into nut punch. It really is in many ways not a real thing, but if you're gonna release block then, I mean, no, it's 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 one of those things that like it's a call out. If you yes. know your opponent is moving and pressing after your blocks pokes all the time, that's when you go for it. It's when it happens on hit that it's a bit surprising. So it means that Boki's getting hit by a poke and still looking to move. But I think Yamini knows that Boki is going to be willing to do that. Which is why he's enforcing it and actually has hit two for two when he's trying to go for that there. The down four. Give us the plus frames. Here comes Johnny Cage. Johnny Cage. A footsie's god, really. He has the Ooh, irritating small hurt box. And that's I don't uh, think he surprising. quite had the bar to get the launch on that, though. He was just on the edge of it. Uh oh Big dive kick. Oh, oh no. Oh, the walk down. Oh, Ooh. he's gonna get damage here. Knocked down. I was actually, I'm only honest, I'm surprised to see him pull the trigger on the fatal blow, but he's gonna really bet everything on this one round. There's but a very it's gonna, expensive it's gonna put him on one throw or a forward throw will take it. The question is, will that be the mix up? Oh, the jump over. Oh, my oh. word! The jump kick to enforce the plus frames, and again, this may be a different variation, but it's still Kung Lao. If he gets a jump kick and he's plus as hell, he gets mid or he gets grab. But that's just the, the huge difference between them, right? Lotus Fist, it's got the orbiting hat. It's more about, you know, I suppose e easier confirms. It gives you access to more of the moveset. Um, but you lose the amazing setup of, of the Z hat. And obviously, the, your, your general full screen game isn't quite as dangerous because you don't get the guided hat either. You already get to teleport on the floor. But Boki really making it work so far. And there it is. Now, that, that's going to be a, 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 a problem, I would say, Lotus Fist has, is if you cancel your pokes into Lotus Fist and your poke connects and they block the orbiting hat, that means you're going to be spending a bar of offense and defense because to, to even use that move, you look at his bar, to even use the orbiting hat, it costs a bar of each. If you want to amplify it, it costs everything. But uh, when, I mean, look at, look at the hat toss though, or the usage of the hat there. Um, that Boki, normally when Kung Lao uses the forward four, you're so used to seeing the forward four ends and that's it. But just look at that extra special move to throw people off guard. And when that hits, it's a good position for Kung Lao.
And that's going to be Boki taking another round. Ooh, preemptive down three again. Really there it is. He's, it. he's not looking for it because it really is the variation change that I think it messes up a lot of players. No one's ready for Lotus Fist. But the problem Ooh. is the forward one completely unhit confirmable. Even though he's ducking and the forward one hits, it's a single hit. You have to dedicate to spin, which is death on block. Well, speaking it confirms. Yamini able to get a good string into a combo there, turning it into the buff. Oh, okay, catches him. Max range. Oh, I love the sound effects when the brass knuckles are turned on. Oh, he tried it again. The catapult back to back. Good blocks, but no real right. punish from Boki. Boki's still not ready for it. And he Ooh. runs, chases it down. Okay, throw counter. Remember, rolls and wake up. Oh, definitely not immune to grabs. Blocks the up two. Tries to enforce a grab instead. Though. That could have been a clean punish. Dude, oh my word. Wait a minute. Is he going to call it? Is he going to call it? He spent it. I think that might be dead. That's going to hurt big time. And Boki did do this yesterday during the group stages as well. He really has knowledge of when to use the fatal blow for damage. Is that enough? No, Woo! it isn't. Oh, the walk down. But this time, the oh, oh my, oh, my god! And the counter poke nut punch. That is one way to just completely stifle the momentum built from a fatal blow that was pixels away from killing. Okay, and again, Boki, he's blocked at least three of them now and not a single actual punish. Right, crushing blow on the throw. It's going to be used. That's 30% down at the very beginning. Yamini with a little bit of a mountain to climb now. Again, he hasn't got a lot of resources. He's I mean, he's got Boki in the corner, it. though. That is where Johnny Cage gets a lot more damage than usual. But, I mean, we look at we look at these strings. Like, how often do you see these strings not get used because they're so unsafe? And here comes the orbiting hat to just add to it. I really love the use of this variation. I just think they're different in their own way, right? That they're good for different tasks. And different play styles is the important thing. Whip punish! Unfortunately, that string definitely unsafe on whip. <laughs> oh, okay. Catch. For the first time, we're going to see the cage oh. rage come through. But a confirm. Yamini, no defensive bar. He might be dead. And he will be. Kablao. Doing huge chunks of damage at seemingly every point of the combo. In fact, there, there's no point you're getting hit that you're going to be like, okay, well, the bulk's done now. I'll be okay. Because everything is just hit, hit, hit. I feel like at a lot of these ranges where we're able to see Johnny Cage be effective, we're able to see Boki be just as effective, if not more, purely because he just looks more comfortable in this matchup. And I, I'm not surprised to hear He's this He's He is playing without fear, absolutely. He's just not... Again, he's not being swayed. I feel like Yamini's Johnny Cage is very reliant on you kind of being on the ground, you know, really at a specific range. Because Yamini, he, he thrives on the whiff punishes, on the advancing buttons. And that's just not something that Boki's been really having to worry about so far. I feel like Boki is the one controlling how fast the match is played. He's always the one on the offense. Ooh, oh, okay. Delayed forward one. Doesn't overextend, but he will now confirm. You've got to amplify the spin in that situation. The regular spin won't reach. Oh, the delay, the walk, and there it is, the confirm. Boki hit confirming the orbiting hat. Boki very um, openly has it actually admitted that oh. one thing he needs to do is start confirming the hat a bit more because it does allow him to get combos. And we're starting to see change of it at the start it's, of that round. I mean, it, it, it's hard to confirm considering it, it's tight to link from it anyway. But it's also it's a single hit. It's quick. Like you have to be absolutely paying attention. Oh, oh that's a confirm to spin. I don't think I don't think he believed in his heart that it would work. But does it matter? Does it help? He gets a reverse grab. Oh. Which the grab he's safe. Unsafe. Oh my word! Poke into special! Yamani getting a taste of his own medicine right there. Boki's on match point! Yeah, Yamani really looking like he just has to figure something out here, but I just don't know. I feel like Yamani, he's trying to fight back. He's getting a lot of these counter poke nut punches, but I feel like that's where the bulk of his damage is coming from. He's not really able to kind of enforce any offense on Boki, because Boki, again, like, again, things like uh -oh. Protex, he's picking the right buttons, he's using faster buttons. Sorry, Johnny Cage, not really known for the same kind of advancing fast mids that, that Kung Lao potentially quite has. Um, but at the same time, like, it's just not the range for him. Uh, ooh, okay, no, the down one whips. Yamini's enforcing a lot of defensive respect now. He's sitting there and holding every mid that Boki throws at him, waits until he's minus seven, and then enforces turn to press. Doesn't get a lot off it, but at least he gets a bit of breathing space, and that's what he's been desperately after against Boki the entire time. Blocks the forward four. And now, now the ball's going to be in Boki's court to finally actually start going for some grabs. But when he finally does, the throw escape. That was so clutch from Yamini. I love the reactions. Dude, Yamini's back is against the wall, literally, and in the tournament. Oh, he loses. He's eliminated if he gets a lot of this round. But his defense, with Ooh. that pressure, uh -oh. has been so good. His defense is Im it's absolutely impeccable. Oh, the wake-up buns into the nut punch, but no punish into the throw set. Yamini, he is fighting with every single thing he has left. Oh, okay. The cancel on the fatal blow. Let's not forget Johnny Cage, the only character in the game that can cancel his fatal blow. I love for that. More pressure. That's like the coolest thing about this character, dude, is just the ability to cancel that fatal blow. It's a big cost because you obviously lose your fatal blow until it comes back. But uh, especially at that point in the in the round when you're both that low, chances are it's not going to come back. He gets the uh, 
Knuckle Dusters on deck. Is that enough to make a difference though? Good throw tech. Crucial throw tech. Yamini being significantly more defensive than he was prior, and it's helped him out so much versus Boki. Boki spending a lot of his resources to try and get the job oh. done. There's the hat. Doesn't uh -oh. get much confirmed uh -oh. in the spin. Uh oh, that isn't going to be right Ooh. indeed. Knocked down. Another spin. And a oh! oh! He crushes it. Boki crushes it with the forward four and a three zero. Yamini is out.